Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our update uh, admin profile, all that functionality. Now I want to do, I want to update. So if you want to update, simply go there. And here you can see that is also one of the form. So that is all that our field is in our form area. Form is started from this position. Great. So now friend, in particular that area, uh, now we have to update all that our field. Okay, one by one, I want to update everything great so now on to update that is our form into the form area now we will need some of the things first of all we will need one of the method our method method should be as a post method because i want to actually update this data right so now that will be as a post method and also one of the action will be needed so into the action area i want to do i want to call one of the route okay i want to call another route so that will be as a route and our route name i name it like as a admin profile okay profile is store now this step on the route i want to create and also one of the most important things from here i want to do i want to upload some of the image right when you upload any image here also we have to do we have to pass as nc type nc type will be as a multi-part okay that will be as a multi m u l t i multi-part okay, multi-part and then form data okay that will be as a form and then data so make that sure you load it as a multi-part form data nc type is very much important for upload any images without this that will be not working and also we will need one of the csrf token right so that will be as a csrf token great so make that sure you update that csrf token that is a nc type multi-part form data and that is actually our route okay so now we have to do we have to create this route if you go to our web route into the web route area i want to create another new one i copy it and here i paste it now if you go to like as a our here that will be as a admin profile store i copy it now that will be our route name as a admin profile store i want to update our url as a admin profile slash store that will be on the post method not that get right if you go here i have already assigned that our method will be as a post now that will be as a post method and now our url and in our admin controller i want to create another new method as admin profile store great now this type of one of the method i want to create in our admin controller now if you go to that our admin controller here after that i want to create another new one that will be as a public function and our method name will be as a admin profile store okay and that is one of the post method here we have to now get all that our requested data so for the reasons here we have to do have to pass that as a request and that will be as a dollar request so here first job is we have to do we have to get our authenticated user id data that means which user is already logging this user data i want to get so if you want to get it that will be just like the same process okay i better copy it and i paste it so i take one of the variable as a id and now with this authenticated user id i simply take it now i want to do i want to get that our id that means authenticated user id i want to actually update right so better i want to take one of the variable as a data and data will be our with this user i want to find our this authenticated user row id data great now by this data we can able to access all that our database field like that like by this data i want to access our field name as user okay user username so i want to access that our database field name that means that is actually our database so into the database user table field name so into the user table field name as a username name email right i want to do want to update that will be as a uh, username and username will be which one whatever the data actually i will pass it from to this form so that is actually our form data so here i have already update our name if you go you can say i have already updated that name so that will be our requested name so whatever the name you will be up get it should be now updated in database table so now i want to do i want to get it so if you want to get it so that will be the request requested field name or requested field name as a username so friend just simply understand i hope you already know about this part literally we'll do a lot of work like that way so before literally i will actually make it little bit fast okay right now it's uh, getting it and then i want to take our rest of all that field but i paste it great now that is one i want to simply take it in same line okay great now that is our username that is another field name as a name okay i want somebody take it also another field name as email then phone 
oh sorry that will be as a phone and then address so that will be the address and also our name will be which one here i have also passed that our name as a name so that will be our requested field name also there is an email email will be our requested field name as an email so that is a requested field name as an email that is a phone uh, that is our requested field name as a phone i want to simply take it as a phone and then our address address will be our requested address right so that is address and requested address great so now here I simply take all and also now that I have another one as the image right also that I have another one as the image so first of all I want to do I want to get our image so if you want to get it I want to do I want to pay I will actually discuss both of this with you if you uh, want to make it without any intervention package you can upload it and also if you want to upload some of the images with using that image intervention package I will also cover it okay right now without image intervention how can I upload some of the image I show you like then I want to add one of the if condition into the if condition area I want to get that our request so that is a requested and that is one of the file type right so I want to get that our file our file will be our name if you go here for the images I name it that will be as a you can see that is a file type our name I name it as a photo so now here whatever the image you will be uploaded from to this position I want to get it so that is one of the requested file and our field name as a photo so if there have any photo then what exactly you have to do after that i want to do and to take better one of the variable as a file and file will be our request okay sorry here that will be as a request and requested same our file requested file and our file field name as a photo okay so whatever the images right now you will upload from to this position i will get that i just simply get it in by this variable as a file okay friend i hope it's very very much clear to you and now i want to do i want to create one of the unique name okay i want to create one of the unique name because if you actually upload the same image then that will be conflicting so for the reasons for or every images i want to create some of the unique name so like i show you here i take another variable as a file name okay file name will be which one i want to create on the date format so that is our date and by the date i want to get one of the date id it should be actually created as a y a month date hour okay so here in this type of that is one of the default format now with this format it should be create one of the id so when i upload everything will be more clear and now whatever the images will be upload i take the things with this variable so here by the continuation i simply access that our file and then i want to do i want to get as a get client okay get client original name okay so i simply take that as a get client original name so there are also two option when you access it as a get client original name whatever the images you'll be upload like if if you want to upload one of the arian.png it will be get the total uh, your image name that means it will be get it as arian.png but also there is another function as a get client original extension when you use that as a get client original extension it will only take your the extension like as a dot jpg or it might be as a dot png okay so that will be your extension so there are the two function i will cover both of this with you so that is one of the default function as a get client original name so whatever the name uh, images will be uploaded it will be get total file name okay here i simply take it and i take the things with this variable so right now for example uh, here if you upload that arian.png so first of all it will be get one of the unique id so it will be get this type on the id and then that will be get that uh, as a dot here you can see that is a one of the dot and after the dot it will be get like as arian.png so that will be the arian okay sorry then that will be as a arian arian.png now that will be actually our new formatted image name okay friend i hope you get some of the idea great great so now that's all and after that i want to do and to move it to our folder so i take another file that means our uploaded file and here now by this i want to do and to move it so that will be the move so that will be the move move our which folder that will be our public okay here i want to use that as a public pub public and then path 
so that will be the public path i want to load that public path and public path will be which one i have already created before one of the upload folder remember as i told you i will actually upload all that our images in particular this folder as upload and then admin images okay that is upload and after that admin images area here i want to do i want to upload by the name by the which name that is the name i have generated that is the name i take the things with this variable here i want to pass it great great and also in our database area now we have to save so by the data i want to access our database field name or database field name for the photo if you go here i name it as a photo so now that will be as a photo okay photo and photo will be which one here i have already generated one of the unique name so that will be our new photo name that will be by this name it will be saved this data in our database table great great okay and after that i want to do by this data i want to save it so here by this data i want to do and to call that our save function so that is our save great great and after that if you want to return redirect to some of the page you can pass it like i want to return and then redirect okay return redirect to the back page okay here we don't need to pass anything here i want to pass right now as a back page that will be the back and also if you want to show some of the notification with, with using that toaster how can display it i will also cover it don't worry about it okay so for now it will be written directly to the same as a back page great so friend if everything okay now that should be work now let's check this out um it's working or not so if you now click as a save all okay click as a save all now i want to check it and now again we will get some of the error because of all i have already created on the new route right in front of the laravel 10 actually i'm getting this type of the issues you can see i have already created it but it will be give you this type of the error only just simply run as a php addition optimize then everything will be work perfectly yeah you can see it's now updated and now if you refresh it yeah it's successfully working so i want to do want to update some of the address in here for education purpose i want to use it as a usa okay usa now i want to choose one of the image I like i want to choose this one image is visible great now click as a save changes it should be returned directly to the same page yes you can see it's now successfully updated that is our name address is updated image is now updated and also if you want to check it in our folder you can see our images folder here is successfully uploaded okay I hope friend you now get this point here i have already displayed that images so if it's not empty that means it there have some of the data right so if it's not empty in our upload admin area in our by the profile data in our photo it should be get this image for the reasons you can see it's now successfully get that image rather than else it should be display as a no image great and also if you go to our database into the database if you now click as a browse now that should be updated yes you can see it's now successfully updated <laughs> great great so how to do this work friend i hope it's very very much clear to you here we successfully done our user part if you want to update that username name email you can actually update everything from this area okay perfect so in our next video i want to do when you update anything if you want to display some of the toaster message how can display some of the toaster message in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video